Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Creality K2 Plus new firmware. Let's scratch today's topic. So on the K2 Plus, ever since it came out, it hasn't really got any firmware. The latest one was from November 7th and just yesterday, December 30, we got a new update for the K2 Plus. Thanks for all of you on Discord and on YouTube for giving me a notice that there's a new update for the K2 Plus. So let's take a look at the K2 Plus new firmware update and see what things are we getting. Is it going to improve the new printer or is it just like a hot fix or something like that? But let's take a look at it right now. Okay, so now we are in Creality Cloud on the firmware update and this is the K2 Plus, the newest version 1.1.1.5. Added this on December 30, 2024. So let's take a look at the description. Firmware update, number one is multi-language support. So nice, Creality is supporting more language, which is always good. Optimize the chamber heating logic to improve the print quality of high temperature filament. That is quite good because the K2 Plus print quality is good. I will say that it's up to a standard, but in order for it to be on its price point, right, $1,500, the print quality should be a lot better and more consistent. Improve printing without extruding detection. Add a printing without extruding detection feature that automatically pause when printing upon detecting anomalies. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was dealing with like a couple of weeks ago. The extruder, the extruder is not extruding any filament and it doesn't even detect it that. I, I don't know, maybe when Creality was making the K2 Plus, they did not think that this would be an uh, issue, but I got it. A couple of people that I know got it, and many people on Reddit, online, have this kind of issues. It's good that they have this now, but hopefully it actually works. Number four, we find input shaping, vibrations, vibration optimization is now subdivided into three independent calibrations. Oops. Belt tensioning, cutter calibration, and input shaping. Belt tensioning. So, can the K2 Plus auto adjust the belt? If it can, that is amazing. But if it cannot do that, how will we know how to tension the belt? Smart color printing feeder. After resolving anomalies in multicolor printing, the system will automatically identify the filament slot and complete feeding upon selecting continue printing with a manual input. This is a problem that I faced, but I didn't make a video on it because I didn't really think that it's a problem. But last time, my filament ran out and I put in a new one, click auto resume. It just, it just start printing. It doesn't do any purging, but hopefully this will fix that. Startup type optimization, daily startup speed has improved with faster G code loading. Initial startup may still take slightly longer. Yeah, the startup is taking quite a long time because it has to extrude all four filaments into the extruding and then it will retract the filament back up and it's just all that stuff. But the animation startup time for Creality, it takes really long. I wouldn't compare it to the Cobra 3. The Cobra 3 takes like three times faster than any of Creality's 3D printers like the newer one. Number seven, enhance AI waste true blockage detection. Upgraded AI waste true blockage detection logic significantly reduce false alarm. So the other day I was doing the Christmas tree, printing the Christmas tree, my true blockage was blocked, okay? Sometimes the filament does not drop down through the waste chute and it just keeps stacking up. But I did not get any errors saying that it's blocked or something. So hopefully this will fix that. Number eight, increase belt tensioning precision, optimize the belt tensioning algorithm to improve adjustment accuracy and overall printing stability. Nice. More improvement for belt and more improvement for printing quality. Number nine, error code wiki integration. Some error code now features direct links to the wiki. Okay, okay, that is quite nice so that people know exactly how to fix it. Number 10, extruder gem detection optimization, improve extruder gem conditions, increasing sensitivity, reducing print anomalies. Okay, nice. More extruder jam detection. Amazing. They should have done this way before they, you know, push these 3D print out. Number 11, bug fix and other things. That is great. And yes, yeah, so you saw there, the new firmware has lots of updates for the K2 Plus. Some of the highlight feature is the heated chamber. Uh, optimizing the heated chamber so that you will get better print quality for higher filament temperature that is always a good thing on the 3d printer the refined input shaping is also really nice to improve the k2 plus to have a better printing quality and i feel like many people have said this but the k2 plus print quality 
isn't quite like up there like it's up to standard on the 3d printing industry right the printing quality is not up to its price point the key 2 plus really needs to improve the print quality so hopefully this new update will help me fix that and startup time oh my gosh I don't know how to tell you this but the key 2 plus startup time is quite annoying so let's say I have a project that I've been working on for a while and I'm ready for printing then I send all the G codes to create a printer or a slicer then I start up the K2 Plus and I gotta wait until all the film extrude, retract, extrude, retract. That takes a long time. And the startup speed also takes really long. I don't know why Creative startup time takes quite a while, but it just did. And finally, they addressed this extruder jam. Extruder jam detection, they improved that, increasing the sensitivity of extruder jam. So I got extruder jam. Many people have got other extruder jams similar to mine or like a little bit different but still very similar where your 3D printer is not extruding but it doesn't pause at the same time and it doesn't give you this error saying that oh something is wrong with the 3D printer it cannot extrude because if the 3D printer cannot extrude right the thing at the back of the 3D printer where it has the spring loading and unloading the filament that never moves so it just the spring just pushed in and it just never retracted out so I don't know why that one is not detectable or anything, but I feel like if that has not moved for a while, something is definitely wrong with the print head or extruding the filament. So hopefully that this new update will help fix all of that, improve print quality, improve startup time, and improve the extruded gem so that we will not have to restart a print that is like 24 hours and we are like 18 hours into the print that is very frustrating right or like a multicolor print if you are doing like a 24 hours multicolor print and then it got jams at like 20 hours in it's just frustrating you wasted so much materials and mostly you are wasting so much time so hopefully this new update will help minimize all of those errors and help improve the k2 plus to a better 3d printer well, that is my take on this new update and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below what do you think about this new update. And do you think that the K2 Plus will be improved from this point on? Or maybe it's just like a hotfix and then just let it slide. But I don't know. I hope it gets more improvements. Subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And happy new years to all of you guys out there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on doing your printing. But before you leave, if you are in need of lithium ion batteries, check out my store right here. It's scratch3dbattery.store. You can choose from various types of connectors, T-plug with a balanced charger, or just a simple JST SM plug, or if you need XT60 or XT30, it's also available with a balanced charger. You can choose from various types of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs. So once again, if you need high quality lithium ion battery pack, check out my store scratch 3d battery dot store there will be a link in the description down below and thank you so much